so three dimensional view is something like this so this is the front view here axis inclined vp so i kept the axis perpendicular to vp this is the top view as the axis perpendicular to vp true shape and size of the base can be obtained in the front view so first project the front view from the front view project the top view then in the second stage axis inclination can be shown as shown here this is the second stage now i tilt the axis so this is the situation when the axis is making 60 degrees with vp when the axis is making 60 degrees with vp the front view will be something like this now we will start drawing with the front view in the first stage in that you can see the true shape of the base bottom base bottom base is side is 75 top base side is 50 this axis length is 75 so this is the simple position then in the second stage represent the axis inclination and project the final front view so now start drawing the problem take the xy line this is the bottom base 75 side call assume this as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash and 4 dash this is the top base a dash b dash c dash d dash this side is 50 join these corners and join the corners of the top base such that you can get the axis this is the point of this is the center point of the two squares here you will get the axis that is o dash and p dash o dash at the top base p dash at the bottom base then project the top view at some distance you can start the top view somewhere here i am starting this length is 75 this is o comma p o is on the top side and this is the bottom side that means top side means this is the front side front base this is the bot back base then draw the projections from both the bases so here you will get 4 1 here you will get 3 2 when you are seeing from the top 4 is visible 1 is invisible here 3 is visible 2 is invisible that's why 4 1 3 2 you will get next here on the front side d is visible a is invisible so d a c is visible b is invisible so c b join them like this this is the top view and in the second stage reconstruct the top view at an angle of 60 degrees for that take the random line somewhere here so you assume this point as p then draw a inclined line at an angle of 60 degrees this is 60 degrees this length is 75 this point is o then draw a perpendicular to this op like this on that perpendicular you are going to get 3 2 so here you are going to get 3 2 take this length with compass and mark that length here after marking this length here you will get 3 2 point on the other direction here you will get 4 1 in the same way here you will get if you take this distance and if you mark that here you will get cb on the other side you will get da then join this then this same top view is reconstructed at an angle of 60 degrees when you are seeing like this from the front this base is visible this base is invisible now project all the points to the front so here this is the projector of 4 1 if you draw the locus from 1 dash here you will get 1 dash here you will get 4 dash this is the projector for 3 2 so here you will get 3 dash 2 dash here you will get 3 dash then draw the projector for da so point a is somewhere here you will get a dash here you will get t dash then draw the projector from cb extend this here you will get b dash here you will get c dash then draw the visible base draw the visible base so this is the visible base then this is the locus for axis so this is p dash here you will get o dash so this is the axis then draw the visible edges this is visible edge 4 3 4 3 is on the top side that is visible 
the bottom side that is one dash two dash that is also visible. Four one is visible. Here it is visible when you are seeing from the front. And D four is visible. A one is visible. In the same way, C three is visible. D two is visible. Invisible edge is two dash and three dash. This is the invisible edge. So all the visible edges you join like this. So completely invisible is three two. That is on this side. When you are seeing like this, this three two is completely invisible. So draw that three two edge with dashed line. So this is the three dimensional view.